The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. And one and only is right, friends, because there is no other salad dressing like Miracle Whip. No other salad dressing has that distinctive flavor, that lively, teasing flavor that's peppy, yet not a bit too sharp. It's a flavor millions prefer. Enjoy it on your salads. Tomorrow, get a jar of the one and only Miracle Whip. Let's see what the great Gildersleeve is doing. Right now, he has just finished a sizable dinner and two pieces of Bertie's apple pie with cheese and is lowering himself carefully into his easy chair. <laughs> what a fine dinner. You're right, George. After eating Bertie's cooking, even the front page of the paper looks optimistic. Yo, I'm in the living room, Marjorie. Auntie, where are the fam family albums? The family albums? Yeah, they're probably up in the attic. Why? Well, Bronco and I were just curious. Yeah, we were looking for some pictures of Marjorie when she was a baby. Who's looking for pictures of who? We're looking for pictures of Marjorie. What for? Oh, run along, little brother. This is a private conversation. This is a public living room. You, well, sit down, Leroy, and keep your nose out of other people's affairs. Okay. Uh, we were looking at the twins just now, Mr. Gildersleeve, and wondering who they resemble. Oh, who do the twins look like? Abbott and Costello? <laughs> Leroy Forrester, I'll fix you. Leave me alone. Come on. Leroy, you go outside. Scat. Scoot. Okay, I'm going. Gee whiz. That boy. Oh, we shouldn't have chased him out. The little fella just wanted some attention. Yeah, I'll give him some attention. Right where he needs it most. <laughs> now, about the pictures. Do you want to see who the babies look like? Uh, do you suppose you could find the albums, Uncle? Sure, I'll go right to them. I know that addict like the palm of my hand. Phew. Dark up here. Whoop, what was that? Yo, know, Aunt Hattie's dress form. What a figure. Yeah, let's see. Where are those boxes of books? Yeah, I remember I labeled all the boxes last time I cleaned out up here. Yeah, yeah maybe this is it. <laughs> Dusty. Yeah, see what this one says. Sardines. You wonder what's in here. Yep, curtain rods. Yeah, PV stuffed owl. You, why don't I take that silly thing back to him? Well, I'll do it sometime. You are right, George. Here they are. Books. And all the albums. Did you find them, Uncle? Certainly. Put my hand right on them. Any luck, Mr. Gildersleeve? You got them right here, Bronco. Yes, let me see. Yes. Yep. Here are the snapshots of the family. This was a picnic at Grass Lake. And that's Marjorie and little Leroy. And that's me holding the lunch. Uh, who's the fellow beside you? Yeah, I don't know. He just came over to borrow a can opener. Wasn't Leroy cute? Yeah. You just a little tyke then? Do you mind if we take this one downstairs, Mr. Gildersleeve? No, go ahead. I'm going to look over some of these others. Well, thanks, Anki. Watch the steps, Mark. Yeah, haven't seen some of these pictures in years. Look at little Leroy at the table. In his high chair. He still had curls. And there he is again with me at the table. That was the day he put my watch in his oatmeal. Brought you, Miss please? Yeah, browsing through some old snapshots, Bertie. I thought if you were looking for something, I could help you. No, I found them. Yeah, look here, Bertie. Marjorie and Leroy sitting in front of the Christmas tree. Leroy was just two. Wasn't he an angel? Yeah, what a fine little fellow. Little Christmas elf. What's he got in his mouth? He was eating the tinsel off the tree. 
It just doesn't seem possible that Leroy is 12 years old, does it, Bert? No, sir, sure don't. Seems only yesterday he was that little curly-headed fellow. I was bouncing on my knee. Yes, sir. Yeah, I remember his chubby little hands. I used to grab my watch chain. Yeah, I never thought then he'd grow up so fast. Leroy ain't grown up yet. I've made a big mistake, Bertie. I should have been out playing with Leroy, sharing his little games, being a part of his childhood instead of a grumpy uncle. You're not grumpy. Yes, I am. And by George, it isn't too late yet. I can change, Bertie. Leroy's only 12. He's still a little boy. We can still do things together. I can make it up to him. Sure you can. Sure. Childhood is when the boy needs the man, Bertie. And the man needs the boy. The happiest hours of life. And I've thrown them away. Well, there's still time. A couple of years, anyway. Leroy and I can have a lot of good times together before he starts growing up. Yes? Get the candy box out, Bertie. Cut a couple of pieces of cake. The kind Leroy likes. Hey, where is he, Bertie? He's down the street playing. You going after him? Certainly. He's 12 years old. Time is flying. I haven't a minute to waste. He will get out his electric train. He loves to play with that. And I'll buy him some more track. I wonder where he is. Leroy! He will start right away tonight. There's a Wild West show in town. We'll go to that. Leroy! Hello, Gilday. Yep. <laughs> Judge Hooker. <laughs> Hello, Judge. I thought that was you, Gilday. Out rounding up Leroy, are you? No, I'm not rounding him up, Judge. I'm just looking for him. We have a lot of things to do. A lot of plans. What kind of plans? Well, plans. Oh. You know, I'm not letting his boyhood slip by. These are the best years of a man's life, Judge. And Leroy's still a little boy. We're going to do a lot of things together. Have a lot of fun. What a nice thought. You bet. Gilder, I think this is Leroy coming down the street now. He has a friend with him. He? Who's that kid? That's Marcel Tremaine. Leroy? With a girl? Mm-hmm. Her parents just moved into the neighborhood. Leroy's a pretty fast worker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Judge. Leroy's just a little boy. Besides, I don't think that's a girl. Blue jeans, sweatshirt, saddle shoes. Can't tell which one's Leroy. <laughs> She's a darling little girl. Bit older than Leroy, I thought. Yeah, probably just one of his little friends. Maybe it's the distance. But Leroy has an awfully dreamy look on his face. Aren't they cute together? Look, she's smiling at him. I wonder what they're talking about. Yeah, they're probably not saying anything. Talking about bubble gum or something. You know how kids are. Of course, Van Johnson is still my favorite actor. You know, Leroy, you look a little like Van Johnson. I do. When we went to Arizona, I saw Gregory Peck on the street, real close. You did? He has the most adorable curl that hangs down on his forehead. Here, I'll fix your hair just like him. Okay. No. No, I can't. Your hair's too short. But you get the idea. Yeah, sure. You don't like to talk much, do you, Leroy? Me? Well... Do you think I'm pretty? Yeah. Most boys do. What do you like best about me? Well, I like... I... Well, uh... Gosh... Tell me, Leroy. Well, your face looks like a girl, but but you dress like a boy. I think that's keen. You're nice. Thanks. I like older boys. You do? They're so much more mature than younger boys. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're going to the party at the junior high school tomorrow night. We are? Oh, oh here's Mr. Judge Hooker. Good evening, Judge. Well, good evening, Marcel. Well, you children came along just in time. I've been looking for you, Leroy. Children? Good night, Leroy. Good night, Marcel. I'm going to the drugstore. I'll walk along with you, Marcel. Thank you, Judge. Well, I see you found another little friend, Leroy. That's nice. What? What? I said, nice little friend. I'm glad to see you finding new playmates. What? 
Leroy, wake up. What's the matter with you? Who? You. Are you sick or something? Me? Yeah, oh my goodness. Leroy, I have some fine ideas. We're going to have a lot of fun. There's a Wild West show in town. We're going to go. Just you and me. I don't want to go, Unc. He, you what? That's just for little kids. You go. Me? <laughs> Leroy, I planned this for you. There'll be cowboys and Indians. No, thanks. I'm too old for that sort of thing. You is this? I'm an older boy. Leroy, you're not making sense. What's come over you? Nothing. When a fellow's going with a girl like Marcel, things are just different. Who's going with Marcel? I am. We're going to the party at the junior high school tomorrow night. You said so. Oh, she did. <laughs> Leroy, you can't go to a party at the junior high school. You're just a little boy. Where'd you meet this Marcel? Who introduced you? The good humor man. You. <laughs> Leroy, come on home. We'll set up your electric train. You will make tunnels and bridges. And we'll de... Leroy, aren't you listening? I think I'll take a walk. You're all right. I'll go with you. We'll both take a walk. If you don't mind, Dunk, I'd rather be alone. See you later, on. See you later. Yeah. See you later. Great Gildersleeve returns in a moment. Just because you're having guests for dinner doesn't mean you have to make the fanciest salad ever for them. I should say not. Or you might make simple individual salads, beds of crispy lettuce topped with a slice of canned pineapple, topped with a canned peach half, and garnished with a cocktail cherry. But there is one thing you must be careful to do. That is, serve the right salad dressing, one you're sure everyone will like. So why not serve the most popular salad dressing ever created, Miracle Whip? Miracle Whip has a flavor that millions of folks call just exactly right. It's really a different flavor, and no wonder. Miracle Whip is a different kind of salad dressing made from a secret craft recipe. This recipe combines the qualities of old-fashioned boil dressing and fine mayonnaise to give you the very best of both. And Miracle Whip gives you the very best when it comes to texture, too. That's because Miracle Whip is blended a special craft way till it's smooth as fine satin. So it's easy to see why Miracle Whip is America's favorite salad dressing, isn't it? Easy to see why Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Whether you're making salads for company or for your family, make them taste extra good with the salad dressing millions prefer, smooth, delicious Miracle Whip. Great Gildersleeve had it all planned. He was going to relive his boyhood with his little nephew, Leroy. He envisioned many happy hours in the fine companionship of the man and the little boy. But apparently his decision came a little too late. Leroy, it seems, is not a little boy anymore. Now it's the following morning, and the great man is coming in to breakfast. Good morning, Unky. Good morning, my dear. Hello. Hello. How are you this morning, Mr. Gildersleeve? Oh, you're all right, I guess. Where's Leroy? Well, he hasn't come down yet. What's the matter, Unky? Nothing the matter with me. It's Leroy. He met a girl last night, Marcel, at the ice cream wagon. Now he thinks he's grown up. Oh, that's cute. Cute? Twelve years old, and he's acting like Ronald Coleman. <laughs> you say the girl's name is Marcel? Is that little Marcel Tremaine? Yeah, that's the one. Wears jeans, sweatshirt, looks like a cowboy. But she's at least 14, Unky. Yeah, practically an old woman. <laughs> I don't know what she said to Leroy, but he's completely Google-eyed. Says he's taking her to a party at the junior high school tonight. Leroy? You look out, look out, here he comes. Good morning. Well, sit down, my boy. Breakfast is on. I'm not hungry. 
I have a lot of things to do. Not much time. Yeah, what do you mean? Have to get ready for tonight. I have a date. But, Leroy, you have all day. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. I know, but I have a lot of things to do. Unc. Yes, Leroy? Is it legal to use shaving lotion if you don't shave? Yo. <laughs> Okay, I won't use it. Yeah. Where are you going? Upstairs. I gotta get ready. Leroy, you don't need to get ready. You're not gonna set foot out of this house. You come here. Mr. Gildersleeve. Uncle Mort, wait. Why don't you let him go? Let him go? He's not old enough. He's just a little boy. Oh, this'll blow over, Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh, I'm not giving you advice, but why don't you help him? Sort of go along with him. Well, if you want to be closer to Leroy, this is your chance. It's just a part of growing up. This is when he needs you, Anki. It's part of growing... Well, I hadn't thought of it that way. I suppose he is growing up. Leroy, where are you? In the living room. Excuse me, children. What you want, Unc? Yeah, I've been thinking it over, my boy. You can go tonight. I can? Sure. You and I will work it out together. How would you like that? Oh, keen. You bet. We'll get down to Floyd's Barbershop and see what he can do with that butch haircut. We'll get a box of candy from Peavy's. Fellow can't pick up his girl without a box of candy. And then tonight, we'll take the car and I'll drive you and Marcel to the party. No kidding? No kidding. Come on, let's get a move on, big boy. <laughs> Hello, Floyd. Hi, Kamish. Hello, Leroy. Hi, Mr. Munson. You climb up in the chair, Leroy. Leroy getting a haircut? That's right. That can't be done. I just gave him a butch the other day. There's nothing there. Well, do something with it, Floyd. Leroy's grown up now. He grew up in three days? <laughs> well, he has a date tonight with a lovely little girl. On a level? Yeah. I'm taking her to the junior high school party. Well, in that case, Mr. Forrester, we'll have to give you the deluxe treatment. Just lean back in the chair, Mr. Forrester. Who? Oh, me, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Got a real sport in the chair. A ladies' man, if I ever saw one. How about a little tonic? Massage? Hot towel? Uh, how much does that cost? Oh, a big operator like you don't have to worry about the cost. This one will be on the house. Hot towel, massage. Yeah, the boy, Floyd. <laughs> Yeah. Um, who's going to win the ball game today, Mr. Forrester? Well, you know, I don't know. Oh, he's a cagey customer, Commish. He knows, but is he telling? No, sir. How about this fellow from the city? Oh, Mr. Munson. Oh, I know you flashy fellas. Now, let's finish off here with a little massage. Hold tight, Leroy. There you are. Take a mirror, Mr. Forrester. How do you like it? The other side of the mirror, Leroy. Oh. <laughs> Gee, that feels keen. Smells like I had a shave. Yes, sir. You'll be a big man tonight. Well, let's get going, Leroy. Lots of things to do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I have a nickel, Unc? A nickel? Yeah. Yeah, here. Thanks. Uh, there you are, Mr. Munson. That's for you. Well, what's this? Your tip. Well, thank you, Mr. Forrester. <laughs> Come on, Leroy, big spender. Mr. Peavy? Well, I have jawbreakers and Tootsie Rolls. No, and... no, not that kind of candy, Peavy. Leroy's shopping for date candy. Date candy? I don't have any of that. <laughs> this is for a going out date with a girl. Oh, 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 that kind. Yep. Leroy's stepping out tonight, Peavy. <laughs> you don't say. Well, this is a rather important occasion. What kind of bonbons would you like, Leroy? Oh, the 
unusual kind. <laughs> that covers a lot of bonbons. I'll fix you up in a nice box. You, what's the matter, Leroy? You're shaking. Me? <laughs> I feel fine. Well, look who's here. Chief Gates. Hello, Commissioner, Mr. Peavy. Hello, Chief. How do you do, Leroy? Uh, Mr. Forrester. Oh, hello, Chief Gates. I, uh, stopped in at Floyd's a moment ago. He says you're a big man now. Well, I'm a lot older than I was. Person gets older, you know. Yeah. Leroy has a date tonight, Chief. Going to a big party. He's taking his lady friend a nice box of chocolates, too. Floyd told me about the young lady. She sounds, uh, very nice. Yeah, she's real nice. Hmm. Well, I just stopped in to tell you, Leroy, that the police department is at your service. We like to take care of the older citizens of Summerfield. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. If, if, if I need you, I'll call you. Here's your candy, Leroy. How much is it, Mr. Peavy? I, I don't have any money with me. Well, let me buy the candy. No, yeah. no, thank you, Chief. Just put it on my bill, Peavy. No, the candy's on the house. In honor of Leroy's growing up. <laughs> well, thank you, Peavy. How do you feel, Leroy? Pretty big? Unc. Yes, my boy. I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> Bronco, get Leroy's coat. Here's your scarf, Leroy. Yeah, thanks, Bertie. You better tie it. I, I can't find the ends. Uh, here's your coat, Mr. Forrester. Yeah, thanks. Car's waiting. Come on, Leroy. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Well, don't forget your candy. You got a handkerchief? Yeah. You look wonderful, Leroy. Do I? Marcel will be swept right off her feet. Yeah. Come on, Leroy. Your chauffeur is waiting. Have a good time, Leroy. Goodbye, big brother. Have a keen time. I will. Goodbye. Come on, Leroy. I'm coming, Unc. You point out the house, Leroy. Uh, it's, it's down near the end of the block. Do I, do I look all right, Unc? Oh, you look fine, my boy. Like a real man. What are the searchlights over there? Oh, that's for the Wild West show. Kid stuff. Yeah. There's Marcel's house. The light on in front. Oh? Yeah. She put the porch light on for you. That was nice. Well, I guess I'd better go to the door. Yes, that's the usual procedure. <laughs> well... You wait here. Yes, I'll wait. Okay. You'll wait, won't you, Unc? I'll wait. Okay. Marcel at home? Leroy, I'm Marcel. <laughs> you? Don't you recognize me? You've grown. <laughs> I'm wearing high heels. And then and you have your hair up and, and then lipstick and, and a long dress. Are you sure you're Marcel? <laughs> Why, Leroy, of course. You don't think I'd wear those jeans and saddle shoes to the party? No, I, I guess not. I'm getting awfully cold standing here. What do you want, Leroy? Uh, I came to take you to the party. You? Yeah. You said yesterday we were going. Oh, Leroy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean you. When I said we, I meant Roger and I. Roger's the boy I go with. He's in high school. Oh, Uh-oh. Something's 
gone wrong. She's going back in the house. Leroy's coming back. You wonder what happened. Poor little kid. Been so excited all day. Now this. He'll be broken hearted. Here he comes. Leroy. Don't feel bad. Who feels bad? <laughs> Did you see her, Unc? You what? Holy cow, she was as tall as Bronco. <laughs> With that? Oh, brother, I thought I was trapped. You trapped? How did you get out of it? I was just lucky. Come on, Uncle, let's go. Well, where will we go? To the Wild West show. Yahoo! Yeah. Bless his heart. He's a boy again. Greg Gildersleeve will be right back. When it comes to favorite sandwich fillers, ham salad is right up there near the top of the list. And for the best tasting ham salad you ever ate, make it with the best tasting salad dressing you'd ever want to find, Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip adds such wonderful flavor to ham salad. That's because Miracle Whip tastes so lively and teasing, yet it's not a bit too sharp. Millions of folks say Miracle Whip tastes just exactly right. So try it on your salads, won't you? Make them with America's favorite salad dressing, the one and only Miracle Whip. Hello, Peavy. Well, good morning, Mr. Gildersleeve. How did Leroy make out on his date last night? Well... She turned out to be a terrible disappointment to him, Peavy. Oh, too bad. Yeah. Instead of a stringy little creature in sweatshirt and jeans, he found a glamour girl in a long dress and high heels. His pumpkin turned into a princess. Well, is that bad? Well, certainly. Yeah, I don't get it. Peavy, you know absolutely nothing about modern youngsters. Well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White, with music by Robert Armbruster. Included in the cast are Walter Chetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Arthur Q. Bryan, Dick Trenner, Ken Christie, Earl Ross, Lois Kennison, and Dick LeGrand. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve. Now, here are the winners of the fourth week of Parquet Margarine's great $83,500 Name the Twins contest. For entries postmarked before midnight, April 7th, glamorous new Ford Victorias go to... Mrs. Fred Shepard, Jr., Birmingham, Alabama. Mrs. Ralph Beasy, Cleveland, Ohio. Mrs. Leo C. Weaver, Eugene, Oregon. Mrs. Fred Sims, Greenland, Menlo Park, California. A bonus winner. Winners of other prizes will be notified by mail. Listen again next week at this same time for the names of fifth and final week's winners in Parquet's great contest. Meanwhile, when you buy margarine, get the margarine that tastes so good because it's always fresh. Get Parquet Margarine, made by Kraft. Hear the Falcon each Sunday over this station. Check your newspaper for time of broadcast and listen next Sunday as the Falcon solves the case of the missing miss. <laughs> Groucho Marx plays You Bet Your Life on NBC. <laughs>